for a couple of years now. But the number one reason I think that the Lions will not only compete for a Super Bowl this year, but future years is kind of what you alluded to. Brad Holmes and this front office, you know, don't forget John Dorsey's around too. And uh, that that name in certain circles in the league, you know, maybe he has ruffled some feathers in some places. But when it comes to evaluating talent, the dude knows what he's doing. You, you, you and Doug were negotiating with him with that chief's trade with Mahomes. He, he had a say behind that. Um, say what you want about the Baker Mayfield draft. The Browns probably would take Josh Allen right now, but I think his track record is solid. And look at the lions under Brad Holmes. You start with the Panay Sewell pick the fist pumping, you know, the, the scene there in the draft room that we all remember. Uh, but in that draft, you also get, Aleem McNeil, 72nd overall, you know, penetrating D tackle who really came on last year. We have a profile up at the site. If you want to check it out, um, just stared in the mirror and completely changed his life last off season. Amon Ross St. Brown, fourth round, 112. You go to the next year, Aiden Hutchinson to get him second overall. Uh, you're getting a, cornerstone i mean you expect to have him rushing the passer for the next eight nine ten years jameson williams is the wild card all right this can still go either direction they've been giving him time to develop through suspensions and injuries uh, but james houston is a steal late in that draft but i really feel like the 2023 draft of the detroit lions could go down as one of this team's best drafts ever and what was everybody doing that night? They're laughing at Holmes. They're laughing at Dan Campbell. Taking a running back, 12th overall, Jameer Gibbs? What? Um, he was exceptional at times last year, averaging five plus a carry, working in conjunction with David Montgomery. He's going to be a receiver. He's He is fun to watch. I know he's a running back. I know the value. You don't do this. You don't do that. He's on that rookie contract right now, and you're getting a hell of a lot of value for four or five years and you cross that bridge when you cross that bridge Sam Laporta tight end one of the best the probably the best season we've seen from a rookie tight end since Mike Dicka went for a thousand yards I mean Laporta caught 86 balls for 889 and 10 touchdowns I mean you can just feel Jared Goff looking for him in big moments Brian Branch I think this is probably gives me the confidence in this class as much as anything he's a stud I mean, this is a positionless, roaming presence who can hit you, who can ball hawk. He he can get schemed up in different ways. I think he's going to help kind of cover for some problems that arise in the secondary as they work new guys in. Um, That that class is, it it just tells me that they're going to keep drafting well, right? You paid, you you, you paid Amar Ross St. Brown, Jared Goff, Panay Sewell. It's going to be harder to just sign players, and they know this. You, You have to draft well year in and year out Um, i think they have the people to do that jim i'm so glad you did that because that's a long way of saying great job brad and you are sustained you are built for sustained success sorry that was strep that was struggle but it all goes back to jared golf for me that move is the only reason we're still talking about the detroit lions it worked he, he, Brad knew it. He had the conviction. Dan Campbell believed in it. Brad was with the Rams with golf. He had golf had everything they want. Now where we're at, because all that Tyler, all those draft picks would matter. Golf was not the guy. Yeah. Cause they, we saw, we talked about it. We know why golf got paid. They don't have anybody to replace him. Another. Okay. So, but this is the year like you can't, Golf isn't going to be, his ceiling is done. It's, it's a wrap on golf. We know he's an 18 in blackjack. If you want to talk that lingo, you're going to win with Jared golf. That's proven, but man, you better have everything else in place. Detroit does where I just think it's hard is I think these other teams have superstar potential at quarterback with Caleb Williams and Jordan love. If they both ascend, you are all of a sudden third quarterback. You're not competing for a super bowl. If you're third best quarterback in your division. 